Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore, and we're back at the International Medical Dental Hypnotherapy Association and the International Association of Counselors and Therapists at the Hypno 2008 Expo. And with me today is, is Sue Hull and Scott Sandlin, who are going to talk to us about dental hypnosis. So go ahead, Sue and Scott. Thank you, Roger. You bet. Uh, well, in starting talking about dental hypnosis, Sue and I are teaching a, a course here and at the uh, Louisiana Hypnosis Organizations Conference on Dental Hypnosis for Hypnotherapists. Additionally, we're teaching a class through the American Dental Association for dentists and dental staff. And the reason for that is because hypnotherapy is a perfect tool to be used in working with dentists. And uh, Sue coming from a dental hygiene background and myself working now on staff for a few years with dentists, we've both come to this from different perspectives and seen what benefit can be there. I think that's what makes um, our teaching so much fun and so valuable because we do come from two different sides of the equation. Um, I've been a dental hygienist for more years than I want to tell anybody. More years than you've been alive, Scott. Isn't that amazing? Right. And, <laughs> and we do have a lot of fun when we teach because I'm from the Midwest, he's from the West Coast. There are a lot of differences there just in um, social values and the way things are perceived. And um, so it just makes it a lot of fun. I don't it, know. I just really enjoy teaching with you. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And, we get and it to, helps people learn. Yeah, and we get to teach about a lot of things that are very practical, nuts right. and bolts things for hypnotherapists. Things like uh, TMJ, people who grind their teeth at night. Uh, helping people with smoking cessation is a big thing for dentists. Obviously the fears and the pains associated with dentistry, needle phobias, things like that. And you can cover all of those things very simply. And to show those, uh, as a hypnotherapist to a dentist or dental staff and how that's going to help them make more money, have more patients, all those things that makes it a wonderful referral source for hypnotherapists. Uh -huh. And I think that's important, you know, when we teach to the dental staff, to the dentist, we show how to do these things really fast. So it's like in a few seconds or maybe minutes, they can make huge changes for their patients as well as their staff versus the older progressive relaxation techniques that they may have been exposed to in the past. So it's important for them to know that they can do these things fast. They don't have to take a lot of time in the office because time's money for them. Yeah. And um, another important piece that I like to teach a lot about is how much it helps the dentists and the staff with um, their stress levels and just their life in general. Yeah. Um, when they've got happy, relaxed patients, um, life's a lot simpler for them. They have less, less staff turnover, fewer missed appointments, um, people coming in there relaxed and you can have fun while you work with them versus people who are screaming and crying and, and all tensed up, which tends just the whole situation up. So. Yeah, there's a lot that can be done, if nothing else, just to help the dental staff themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things we teach hypnotherapists how to do it once they become on staff or get referrals. Well, from for, from a consumer standpoint, uh, I know I had a, just an amazing fear of dentists and avoided going to dentists for years and, and I know what hypnosis did for me to where I go every six months now and get sure. my teeth clean and get my teeth taken care of. But as a client, as a consumer, mm -hmm. what is it about hypnosis that would help a, a consumer with their fear of dentistry? Well even, even beyond just the fear is uh, applications like getting them to floss more getting them compliance. to compliance compliance okay for compliance and if they are doing the compliance then the dental appointments are easier mm -hmm. you know when you work with people who have massive trauma and issues those appointments are more traumatic uh, when it's something with someone's been keeping up and doing all the things it makes the appointment go easier and so you work hand in hand with two things basic fear removal and things like that that you know hypnotherapists are familiar with uh -huh. phobias and then you add the compliance factor and uh, it's a great one-two punch. Okay, great, excellent. And you know, as a consumer, two fears we talk about are you've got people who are afraid of the needle, quote unquote, the anesthetic, and then you've got the fear of not being numb sure. on the other side, and then you've got that unpleasantness of that numbness afterwards. Right. And so we teach people how to help with all of those. Okay. And they may not even, if they really have that fear of the needle, is it a matter of, okay, let's help them get over that fear, and that's basically fear things that we're taught in our basic hypnosis training, um, or 
to, you know, once they're over that fear, maybe they don't even want to be anesthetized because they can do the anesthetic themselves. Sure. I just did that in the dental office the other day. It was my first experience. I know Roger's done that extensively before, but um, for me, coming from a really negative childhood background in dentistry, I know those fears. Sure. But then also to be able to teach people how then to get rid of that chemical anesthesia immediately when they're done with their treatment. Right, so, so they don't have that, so that many numb areas. jaw for right. an hour and a half. Sure, great, great. And so it's teaching the possibilities, not only to hypnotists, but to the dental staff. It's just such a huge area. And when you talk about the statistics of how many people are so afraid of the dentist, they've never, I mean, 10% of the United States population has never set foot in a dental office that just many. because of fear. Wow. And then when they do, the British um, uh, Dental Society did a study that's already back in 1995, but that we still quote, is that a third of people who do go to the dentist, a third of adults who do go to the dentist, have profound, quote unquote, profound fear of going to the dentist. And so then what happens is they put off their dentistry and then they go in the next time with a toothache or something really major, which then increases their fear. So when you've got that, yeah. those numbers of people that can be helped, it's such a huge area. I get so excited about it. It's such a huge area that I, we can help. I can hear, your, hear and see your excitement. That's <laughs> yeah. great. I mean, from, from a clearly economic perspective, for a hypnotherapist, if you can help one third of people going to the dentist, that's a huge market. Uh -huh. If you can help those people then any dentist is going to see that value and want to work with you. From a client perspective, from just the, the average consumer, if you can have you know, flossing or brushing or whatever it is be something that's automatic and it's not a chore so that your dental appointments are faster, are easier, and often cheaper because they're not having to do as much repair work, it's a win-win for everybody. And uh, hypnotherapy in many ways is the perfect Things like grinding their teeth at night. People right. are damaging their teeth and spending a lot of money getting that enamel fixed. If as a hypnotherapist you can help retrain that behavior, everybody's a lot happier. So it's a fun thing. And clients can learn to use self-hypnosis right. when they go into the dental office right. them, they for themselves. They can learn to relax themselves. Okay. And you know, once they're rid of those fears, if that's what they have, they learn to relax. You know that thing of it? Uh, clenching the handles of the or the arms of the dental chair. Gosh, I spent years doing that. Even once I was involved in dentistry, I was still like this. So just to be able to relax very simply makes everything so much easier. And when you're tense, then it maybe is going to hurt because right. you're tense. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. So Scott, where can uh, if somebody wanted to reach you, get a hold of you, how would they do that? The easiest way to get a hold of me is through hypnothoughts.com which is a website for hypnotherapists. Okay. So if they're a hypnotist, hypnothoughts.com. If they're uh, a consumer or a doctor, they'll probably want to go to www.gohypnotherapy.com. Great. And Sue, how about for you? Uh, my website's my, www.mindyourpotential.com. Uh, Mind Your Potential being the name of my business. Okay. Okay, great. great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Sue and Scott, for, for doing this with me today. And folks, this is Hypnosis Health Info, and I'm Roger Moore.